Employees of the Guyana Shore Base Incorporated are benefiting from a two-day occupational safety and health training, which will enable them to execute their mandate in accordance with the law. Commencing on Thursday, the two-day training exercise will allow the staff to participate in oral and video presentations, role play, group work, and case studies. The initiative is being facilitated by the Occupational Safety and Health Department of the Ministry of Social Protection. According to Occupational Safety and Health Officer Joanna Vaughan, the objective of the training program is to equip workers with the basic knowledge and skills. The learning objective it demonstrates an understanding of the basic tenets of occupational safety and health, recognize and evaluate hazards in the workplace, and describe measures for the elimination and control. Develop competency in the, in the conduct of accident investigations, know and understand their roles and responsibilities as representatives of the Joint Workplace Safety and Health Committee. General Manager of GYSBI, Sean Hill, expressed his satisfaction with the effort of the ministry and stated that his company firmly believes that everyone has the right to return home safe. By providing all of the training to enable this, we believe that we are making everybody aware of all of the requirements of the industry, of our standards, of our processes. Uh, once they get awareness and once they acknowledge that they have awareness and they have the skills, it will enable them to be more competent in their jobs, it will enable them to uh, get more development potential um, and we'll be able to improve nationalisation of our workforce and everyone can go home safe and we can grow the company, we can grow the industry here in Guyana. At the conclusion of the training, it is anticipated that the participants will be able to conduct a workplace inspection and prepare a plan to control and or eliminate hazards in their workplaces. For InfoHub, I am Kellon Rover.